What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolve. That's right, playing here on the Alpha Tribe server, having so much fun doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thank you so very much for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome, last episode we went, we tamed up two of the best gatherers in the game that's right they're a xenosaur you know you know how it goes we leveled up this one the male we got a meat boosted pair and wow it is huge improvements on gathering on a lot of materials not everything unfortunately it doesn't really do stuff like metal and, and polymer and things like that but for almost everything else we're getting slews and slews of materials which is good because Today, we're going to be working more around the base. We will get a tame today, but I promised you guys I wanted to get going on this platform. So anyway, I've been tinkering with it quite a bit. I've been crafting out tons of the resources that we will need, and I'm kind of planning it out. Now, right now I have, these are all ceilings that are set down, and let's just take a peek underneath it. I did find you can put, it's kind of cool, you can put a... Uh, actual foundations you can snap them underneath the ceilings to uh to then build off of but i don't know i'm still kind of figuring out how it's going to work out and i think we're just going to have to proceed to find out um these plat these these ocean platforms they're super annoying they're super annoying um i've kind of went through this some in other videos but the natural snap point for foundations on here is uh yeah you can't you can't pick it up see right now i'm looking at the foundation this guy is completely stuck in there there's no way to remove it i can't demolish it i can't do nothing because it's not registering i'd have to demolish the ocean platform which would destroy everything so it's kind of frustrating and if i want to set down another uh i don't have any on me another platform on it it just tries to set it on top so I'm not entirely sure how we're going to be able to remove that, but we'll figure a way. Um, but anyway, let's proceed with this, at least for a little bit, and we'll see what's up. I'm trying to do, since we have tech now unlocked, I'm trying to uh, do a whole bunch of tech. Definitely still running low. I've been crafting up a ton of stuff. It doesn't look like that much, but this stuff is expensive. Um got tons of the tech walls foundations and so forth but the polymer is really being my hold up i'm at the point now let's just see how are we doing on the snails i've already cleared them out once today you know we got all these snails to make polymer too yeah it's just it's good it's good but when we have this huge project it's just not enough to keep up so I'll go ahead and toss what I do have in there. Um, so I've just been crafting normal polymer just to try and keep up because cementing paste I do have slews of, absolute slews of, so that's cool. Um, anywho, let's grab out some stuff. Now I might do part of this build in, uh, part of it in metal, part of it in tech. We'll see how it goes just because there's some spots I don't want to experiment too much with the tech because it's so expensive, I just can't afford for it to break. Um, anyway, that being said, right now I was in the process and I figured, you know what, I better start recording. I was in the process of laying out all these walls. So I'm doing that right now. It's kind of annoying, look at this. They don't always snap the right way. I don't even understand how, uh, how it's allowing me to do that because you can't set a wall I can't set one down on the platform directly. You have to have either a foundation or a ceiling for that to happen. But why on earth is it going both directions? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, make and do. Now there is some good news. I found usually when you have ceilings and then uh, foundations, like when you go from a ceiling to a foundation, they don't end up lining up right. And that's been kind of the concern that I've been having is, will this all line up correctly? And are these even snapping in the right way? You can test by putting another another wall above it just to see which direction it goes. 
and that should fix it or at least let you know what you're doing if you're doing it right so so far so good i do have the builder's helmet on so it allows me to uh immediately reload my uh my walls and whatnot but anyway yes kind of slow process um i should be able to remove the ceilings below that i'm standing on and change them to tack but I just, I don't have the materials yet. So it's gonna be a process, but I wanna get at least the basics of the base done. And a lot of it I'll probably build off camera, but you get to be with me for a little bit. Here's another example of this whole foundation shenanigans. I set in a foundation here and I can't pick it up now. There's no way, it's not a thing. And look, if I try and put another one down to uh, correct it, um, it just makes me put it on top. Which is, which is super annoying, either on top or on bottom. So not sure what to do. Anyway, we're just gonna have to ignore it, hope for the best, hope for the best. All right, and see right here, I think this wall might be trying to snap, set the right direction? It is. I gotta be careful, because they might try and snap to those foundations that I have set down. But yes, anyway, making, making, uh, making do. Doing what I can. Oop. Another one the wrong way. So anyway, yes, you can see this is kind of boring. So I'm going through all of that, trying to get that all set up. And then next up, once I have all these single walls set in, I'm gonna start to set down the four tall walls, which should be pretty good. And then we'll shape it out a bit. So let me let me get all these walls in and we'll be right back. All right, looking good, looking good. I've got all the basic walls set down, so that's pretty cool. And then I'm going to have to go and around the sides. Let's see, snap in there, snap in there. We'll probably have possibly some windows or something going on. And then I'd like to have on the corners. I haven't decided if I want to do three or two, but we'll probably set it up to do both. Let me see. If I did two windows and then I could have it jut out. All right, so anyway, we have to start trying to snap foundations. And this is where the real tricky part is. Because as you can see, look at this. As I move my uh, my mouse up and down a little bit, can you see that? It actually is two different snap points. And sometimes you can't really control which it snaps into. Um, the natural snap point for uh, for the ocean platform is the lower one, and that's what's really kind of janky. Um, and it really kind of makes me mad how they did this. They, I sometimes wonder how well things are tested. But anyway, let's just go for it. This is a tech foundation, so if it messes up, yeah, we lost it. It is gone for. Oh man, it just, I'm not even moving the mouse. It just kind of like bounces around. All right, come on, do the, all right, I think we got it. Now you can tell when you did it correctly, let's just see, I can actually see the foundation. So that's important. That is really, really important because otherwise I wouldn't be able to remove it. So now the question is, can I continue this going on? Again, it's really hard to line up right, but we got it. We got it again. We have to hope we get these all of them like that. All right, again, we got it, beautiful. Come on, come on, do it right. Get snapped in there. See, some of these spots, you just can't even see them when it goes to the lower snap point. All right, all right, beautiful. All right, and then we'll have it jutting, I guess, two, should I do it two out or one out? That might be enough. Now, here's the next question. I did test this out already once, but let's make sure that the walls snap. Yeah, they see, they look pretty well lined up. So that's good news. That is really good news. All right, so continuing on. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks pretty good, just like that. We might go up one further though. But again, just for looks, so we can get an idea of what this will look like. And we can make the decision. So we'll end up being kind of like this. Going from the base, so. One will probably be sufficient. Um, let's go from the inside and take a look. Just to see. All right, and did I already snap that in? All right, so we can remove it. And it'll show us how much more space we get from it. 
Um, it's not dramatically more space, so having it two out probably would be beneficial for us to truly uh, take advantage of the extra space. But really, it's just to give a little bit of, uh, I guess, textured to the base. You know, so it's not just a cube. So I, th I think that'll work. All right, so that I'm going to tinker around with. I am going to set down the further foundations, though. And hopefully I get the, all the snap points right. All right, so far so good. So far so good. Come on, don't don't mess up. All right, perfect. Perfect. Oh, what a beautiful thing. All right, cool. So then if we extended it by that, let's see what that looks like on this side. So bam, bam. Let's get all these in. So it will have a dramatically different look being that big. But you know what? That's not too bad. You know what? It would be kind of cool. I actually could do it multi-layered if I wanted. But anyway, this is what it looks like when it's two out. So does that become too much? No, that's not that bad. And I actually can potentially have a window there that's too wide. That's actually kind of neat. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of liking that. I think I'm going to go that direction. And I think this will all work out. Awesome. All right. So this side, and we're going to do this all the way around so it's completely symmetrical. So that wall would go there. And then from here, we need to then push it out. So again, the first one is going to be always the, probably always the most complicated. And we got it. Beautiful. And then they snap much easier after that point all right good 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 looking good all right and then we go to this way all right Ooh, that one's kind of janky that one's being janky no don't fall down all right we got it beautiful 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 yeah i'm liking it i'm liking it a lot all right let's put in our other walls there, there, there. Yeah, it's looking good, guys. I like it. All right, and the reason we're doing these uh, smaller walls first is just so that we can make it five tall, but then if I need to into the future to install a door or something, I can just walk up, take out that one wall, and the walls above it will not be affected. So like, let's say I wanted to throw in a door right here. All I have to do is that and boom, got a space for a door, doesn't affect the ceiling. So I'm, I'm liking it. And get set back in, perfect. Yeah, everything's lining up and it's kind of huge that these walls were exactly the same height. So that's a good thing. Even though we're connecting onto ceilings on the inside. All right, I dig it. I think it will work. I think we are golden. What a beautiful thing. All right, so I'm gonna get working on that. Now we're probably gonna start to run out of resources soon because I do not have enough of these to go around the entire base, but I should have, we'll be, we'll be crafting more of them. So it shouldn't be a problem. All right, awesome. And you know what, having the tech foundations here because we're going to be forced to have this kind of rim from the uh, the ocean platform, it's kind of a neat change. So I think that'll work. I think we'll be golden. Then, of course, we'll probably have ceilings up on top. I haven't even started crafting the ceilings yet, but we will get to it. Um, over here, I can remove these, which will give me just that much more. And this now, doing it like this. And by the way, I'm able to do this because I have the builder's helmet on. I'm able to just pick these right up by pressing O when they're highlighted. Awesome. And then now that actually gives a decent amount of space that I can make little workstations in here in these these nooks. So I think that'll work out great. And then we'll put uh, probably glass four tall walls 
in there and in there. So we have nice cool viewing area. Yeah, I think that'll work out perfectly. Now I have to question whether I wanna have, I have door, this right here is gonna be a doorway for a dino gate. I have to question if I wanna do that on all four sides or just on the front and back. So I'm sure we'll have a door of some sort, but we'll figure it out as we go. So two wide windows there. And then yeah, over in this corner. So we have the window would go there. That would be the wall. And then this is gonna be where it comes out. Perfect, just get that lined up. All right, so I'm gonna get these little nooks done on all the four corners. All right, guys, things are really looking good. Looking up, seriously. Oh my goodness, I'm loving the way this looks. All right, so a couple more things set down. By the way, notice how it's kind of framey. Look, when I turn real quick, it's like pretty laggy. Well, that's because we're I'm crafting right now a whole bunch of polymer. And this is a bug. This is something. I've never noticed this on another map, at least not this bad. But as you can see right in here, crafting a whole bunch of polymer. And watch, I'm gonna be spinning, watch, it's about to stop. See, it's getting worse and worse, more like a, a slideshow. And then see, now it stopped. Now it's perfect, as soon as it stopped crafting. Now the annoying part of this is that no matter where I am on Genesis, if I could be in a completely other biome, and if I'm crafting over here, and it doesn't matter if it's this, if it does it in this, it does it in my chemistry bench, it does it in my pestle and mortar, it does it in my fabricator, it does it, it's really weird, but it, it's in particular anything that crafts really fast. And I think it has to do with like some type of sound lag or something, you know, like the game's trying to play too many sounds or something like that. I really don't know, but it needs to get fixed. Um, now what I don't know is it might affect every player on the map. I don't know if it's just me personally or if it's all players. Um, I'm leaning towards it's just me, but oh, that would be awful if it's if it's everyone. Um, anywho, yeah, I've got all the windows in place, all the walls done. We just got one more window to put up. And again, this none of this permanent. I made a uh, switch up how I'm deciding to do this, but I think for now that's good. Now I'm kind of debating doing even one spot higher. Let's just see how that would look. Can I get it? Yeah, I can snap it. So that way it gives it a little bit of a cleaner look around the windows. The only annoying thing, I hate, 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 hate how tech foundations, I think that looks so ugly. The little uh, pegs, so to speak, they come down like that. It just ruins the look. I really wish that would be something to be fixed. Like it looks, you can see the little pegs there. It looks all right. Like you don't really notice it, but when you have it going down onto something else, it's very noticeable. So, I mean, I'd almost suggest this. These are all S plus blocks. I wish the S plus guy, guy or gal, the mod author, I should say, I wish they would change it so that those little pegs aren't there. I don't know if that's something that's easy to do. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. All right, so we've got that down. All the windows are done. Um, next up is the doors. And I've been, oh, please tell me. Okay, it does snap. Does in fact snap. Hold on, let me get that out of the way. All right, I'm debating about where I wanna actually have them placed. Cause I could do it like this. And that's one possibility. So, and of course it doesn't look bad and we'll probably move things as we move along. But another possibility is to have, see I have the, the walls go out one slot. I could snap it instead there. And then that way it would give kind of like some depth and then check this out. I then could do, I'm not sure which is the right one. So I made them both. I'm still never got used to these. All right, so it's not that one. That Which one did I do? Crap, I don't remember. All right, that's the correct one. I think like that. I'm not even sure if I need that. We'll find out momentarily, but then hopefully, oh, did that not snap? That looks kind of janky. I don't know, it's probably fine. Well, this, am I just not tall? Okay, there we go. 
Look at that. Then if I have it go out one, I can then do something like this, which could look interesting. It's kind of not the best looking from close up, but when you're looking down on it, I think it really looks cool. So again, I'll play around with that more. You know what? It might look even cooler if I did it up one higher. So I'll play around with that too. But that would be the reasoning for having the door stick out more. Now let's see on this side. Let me instead do a full wall up here. All right, full wall. Can I snap this in still? You can tell I don't do a whole heck of a lot of building. Eh. See, it is letting me snap it to that height. So it might, if I'm flying, I might be able to do it when I'm a little bit taller. But we'll see how that works. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for now. And I'm going to leave the other doors for now. Well, that's something we can tinker with later. I'm going to, for now, snap all these guys in. What I will do, though, is I will put down the foundations. Oh, crap. All right. That snap like that that perfect I already messed one up one foundation somewhere else it was so annoying what I ended up being able to do because see you just can't replace when you use S plus I can't set down another foundation inside of it to fix it and I couldn't set it above it even it was really frustrating I ended up making a normal tech because this one I can take the metal one and I can put it like inside of it see how it doesn't go above the snap points like in it yeah, well, what I had to do is take a normal one that was tack and set that in, and that actually fixed the positioning. So anyway, just, just saying that. But, like, see right here? This isn't one I can remove, right? Nope. So frustrating. All right, this is going to be a toughie to get snapped in, right? In fact, you know what might be smart? Check this out. If I use a metal one and force a metal one into the bad spot, there we go. And that will mean that I have to. This one here, I won't be able to snap it into where the metal one is. And the bad spot is guaranteed the good spot. Perfect. That might be our fix right there. Yeah, and these these wooden ones are so ugly. Or these stone ones look so bad. Ew, it didn't do what I wanted. I'm trying to break it. I guess leaving it there isn't the end of the world. I'm kind of wasting materials. But it just, I think it looks so ugly now. All right, there we go. Yes! All right, so that fixed that one. Let's do this here, too. All right, and I cracked them both out. Then I can put the tech ones, and they will only snap. Well, actually, I guess they won't only snap to the right position, but you, you know what I'm saying. All right, anyway, we got the two that we wanted. That's cool. Let's set in our door for now, just like that. Perfect. And then, of course, atop the door is going to end up being that and that. Perfect. Looks beautiful. You know, another option I could do for the windows is I could drop them down one. And that way I can do one across the top. So, I don't know. Again, another thing I'm going to have to tinker with. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these set in. I can pick you up. Should we try the same maneuver for all of them? I mean, if I can get it right the first time, that's the most ideal. Oh, that one's being janky. All right, we got it. We got it. And the bottom boom. Awesome. All right, and one more door spot. Let's do the same thing. All right, is this one? These are all janky ones. Let's see how it looks when I put the tech on top. It should... Hopefully, I'll snap it right. Crap. It's not liking it. It is not to liking it. All right. Let's at least get this even. There we go. So, it's just easier to see. There and there. All right. So, that's all even. Now, let's do the tech one. Come on, tech one. Snap to the right place. Urgh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm telling you, these things are just so janky. Um, maybe if I remove those guys. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now. We won't worry about it. It's driving me nuts. This is what... Th 
for this reason of what's going on here is what has kept me from building much on the base because it just it frustrated me to no end but yeah i think that's cool i think this should do let's just get the ceiling snapped in above them is that right no that seems weird all right there we go it's facing the wrong way is the door facing the wrong way let's try this again come on baby it's just snapping funny. Is that right? See, I think it's snapping to the foundation that's outside that is incorrect. So again, it's going to take... Yeah, it's it's not doing it right. Maybe from the... Anyway, I'll play with that. We'll get that working. I think that we're actually coming up in the world. It is looking good. I can start to craft up. We're not going to be able to get all the ceilings today anyway, because that is a lot of ceilings that I got to make. And I got to craft a crap ton of polymer, and you can't craft the polymer um, all at once because it, it might even crash the server. So all these frustrations we are dealing with, but hey, it's coming along. We actually have something that is starting to resemble a base. I dig it. All right, um, maybe, you know what, let's proceed with what we're going to tame today. I want to stick with going in the ocean biome. One other resource that I've continued to be low on is silica pearls. And finding a good way that we can harvest silica pearls would be amazing. Now, I've heard rumors. I haven't looked it up or anything online. I've heard rumors from you guys that possibly a, uh, what are those little glowy fish called? The anglers, I heard that they might be able to get silica pearls. Like, actually harvest them. I don't know. But why don't we try and check out an angler today? I think that would be pretty cool. All right, guys. I think I'm good to go. We're going to try and do this on our frog, on our bezel buffo. Yeah, because I don't think it hits as hard. Our basilisk absolutely is going to hit too hard to knock out one of these uh, anglers way way too hard so i'm hoping i can't remember what our frog hits for in fact i should probably test this really quickly come here mr fishy oop oop can i can i get you it's a little squirrely and oh my goodness there we go all right three thousand all right we'll have to see what an angler actually has for health once we find one. Oh, leave me alone eels leave me alone all right let me go on the hunt for a good angler um they're pretty common so i think we should be able to get a 600 for sure in fact i think is that anglers right there let's see what we got what do we have for levels are you gonna even show me a 380 all right um the 380 is over 5,000 health let's just for testing purposes let's smack them once and let's see what happens if it's enough to one shot knock it out and it only did 2,000. All right, so that's good news. Um, where's our angler that we're trying to scope out? Did we even hit the right one? Ew, that's not good. Wait, Torpor's still kind of rising. Oh, these stupid eels. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's mate boosted, and that's why it's not doing as much, because this is not an X variant. Oh, this might be a little complicated. I don't think I can get it in three hits. I think it will die. All right, let's try another hit. Yeah, see, it was mate boosted. That's exactly why I was even able to take that much. All right, so that's one route. Um, I'm not sure if a basilisk actually does more, uh, more torpor than the frog does. That would be kind of interesting, but I do have a completely unleveled basilisk on me. So that could be an option. Another option is to up the amount of damage that we do with the frog. The only issue is the basilisk is super duper slow. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch that up. Anyway, like I said, let me let me go find a good angler. All right, guys, we do have a max level angler right here. Um, I think we can do this. Is it mate boosted? And let's see, male. Oh, they're both males. All right, I can at least do a few hits with the frog, I think, just to help get it started. All right, there we go. It might actually do more torpor. Oh, where are you going, bro? Why are you swimming, swimming away from me? That's not cool. 
All right, as you can see, it's kind of doing more health damage. Ugh. It's doing more health damage than, uh, than Torpor. I thought it would be a little bit different, but all right, the frog's pretty easy to shoot off of. If I can actually get a dang hit, what's going on here? Why is it not hitting? It's kind of making me mad. All right, um, so, okay, I don't think the frog is very viable for this. Um, why don't we swap up? Let's try this basilisk. Let's grab, ooh, dude, it's not cool. No, 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 do I, oh, I don't have a saddle on the basilisk, no. No, 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 that's not good. Um, all right, basilisk, follow me. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> We gotta get the crap out of here, Basilisk. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Those eels, bro. They're gonna break all my stuff. All right, the eels are, are bothering with them. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. What are we gonna do, guys? All right, Um, I guess Froggy Man is gonna have to come back out. Frogger. All right, Frogger, just stay there. Crap, this is not good. All right, let's switch up. I don't want my scuba to break. Where are you, Frogger? Frogger! Frogger, where'd you go? Crap, where's Frogger? Did he float up to the surface? Tell me that's not a thing. Ah, oh, this is a mess. This is a pure mess. All right, um, how are you doing? Oh, dude, Slither is, all right, here we go. Um, neutral, just to kill off the eels. All right, I think I have a, a thing on Frogger. Do I? No, I don't. This is so bad. All right, did you get the eels, dude? Get the eels. All right, you're doing better now. Let's go like this. Let's pick up the basilisk. This is a whole hot mess, guys. I am sorry. All right, that's handled. Go, go, go. Don't let the eel get you. We gotta find out where the crap frogger went. I don't know how I don't have a tracker on him. Oh man, this is a hot mess. All right, I'm gonna get back to the base. I'm gonna make a saddle for the basilisk and uh, we'll teleport right back here. And that, that should hopefully fix the problems. All right, guys, I got a new 600 angler fish. It's right next to a 100. Yep, there it is right there. It's another male. And I got the Basilisk now. It's hitting for 2,000 on a normal dino. This guy's going to be mate boosted, so I assume it will be far less. Let's just see how high it goes. And did I get this other angler? Yeah, that other angler is done. I don't get these guys. Like, they run away after I hit them. It's really annoying. All right, how am I doing damage to Torpor wise? I think it's falling now. Oh man, this is gonna be brutal. I just gotta get it as close as I can without killing it. All right, and bam. That was actually kind of protecting us. Or protecting from this guy escaping. All right, it's going up. All right, well, th I mean, this at very least is gonna make it a lot easier to knock out, but I'm not liking all these Moses down here. That is not good news. All right, this is super brutal, guys. Um, we're going to end up killing it. I'm remembering now there is a, a torpor, torpor harpoon. And I think that actually might be our best bet. Let's get that guy done. So I'm hoping this will actually fix most of our problems. So let's try it out on this guy. A brand new fresh 600. And let's see how much the torpor rises from it. Um, it's not that substantial, but it should take, should be able to do it with 30 harpoons or, or less. So actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Let's see if we can get him again. Gotcha again, bro. All right, we can do this. It can be a thing. It's going to take a hot second, but I think we'll get there. We just have to hope. The biggest scary thing is just what attacks us while we're doing it. Where the crap this guy go? All right, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna finish getting this guy knocked out. There it is. I'm gonna finish getting him there, and then, uh, yeah, we'll come back for the knockout. 
All right, guys, we are just about there. We're in the final, final countdown, I guess you could say. Come on, bro, just go down. Go down. Oh, I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to do it. All right, there's another guy right over here that's been harassing me. Is, is this... Where, where's our dude? All right, I think it's down. It looks like it's down. Get out of here. You turd nuggets. Yep, it's down. All right, so regular kibble... Imagine if I hit my guy by mistake right now. Oh, I would be so mad. This has taken me so long. So many just weird, bizarre things have been happening. All right, you're knocked out, right? Yep. All right, three blue. Uh, kibble blue. Just take five, just in case. I don't want to take any chances. It's not that the angler is that difficult. Uh, the harpoon has been working wonders but it's all the things that sneak up on me while i'm trying to tame that just make this brutal almost done one last bite brosy do it for me be a thing yes we did it we did it all right so we got our angler but look at us dude that's so cool we got him all right let's bring this guy back by the base because i'm sure he needs Ooh, there's a lot of scary things I'm sure he needs a lot of levels, especially because we don't have a saddle or anything. So anyway, I will see you guys right back. All right, at last we are back at the base and look at our beautiful, beautiful angler. Love it. I colored it up to be red. It's kind of interesting. The entire thing is almost one color region. But anyway, yeah, it's super duper fast. Definitely, I think our fastest swimmer other than maybe like the Mosa. So that's pretty cool. It's actually got really good carry weight to boot. Um, yeah, all around pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna for put, I guess let's go into melee first. And I would assume this guy is some type of natural resistance. In fact, before we do anything, let's see what this guy actually bites for. Let's find a little fish. Come here, little fish. I'm a bigger fish, I'm gonna eat you. All right, 512. It's respectable. I mean, I wasn't expecting much because this guy is pretty tiny. Let's go ahead and boost that up. And do we get? Yeah, already. We'll put about 10 levels in. It'll be up to a thousand, which is plenty good. Absolutely plenty good. All right, I'm digging it. There are definitely things I need to be afraid of, though. So I got to start, start small, work my way up. These eels are definitely pretty scary. All right, come here, brosy. Come here. Let me get you. I need the levels. Ooh, if I'm trying to get levels. I should absolutely put that in. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a kneel. It's a kneel. Be careful, bro. Be careful. I can barely move. All right. I actually lost the uh, electricity pretty quick, so that's cool. All right. So the main reason we got this guy was to see if it could actually harvest silica pearls, which I'm going to be honest with you, it sounded kind of loony to me. It didn't sound like it should be true, but I thought, why not? Let's try it. I haven't actually tamed an angler in years. I think since they first came out, maybe I tamed one and that's it. They're not usually a go-to for me. All right, come on, come on. We can do it. All right, I'm going to boost up your attack, bro. Oh, seriously, just one level. Come on, eel. Give me all the levels. Oh, man. Just just like one more bite. Maybe two. And we got him. All right. Levels galore, please. Levels galore. Watch. It's only going to give me one. Better give me more than one. I deserve more than one. That was a tough fight. That was super tough. Oh, look at that from one little tiny eel. All right. Yeah, let's get this way up. We have to worry about health soon, but I think that should be good enough. All right. Can we find some pearls to find out if this was all a waste of time or not? It's still cool to have an angler. And I think we do get, you know, it gets, it gets more lit up underneath. So it actually will make it easier for you guys to see. Come on, dude. All right, let's teleport to where the pearls are, where I know they are. You see, I would lean towards those uh, Dunkas being the ones that do the pearls, if at all. But let's find out. Oh, it does work. Oh, man. Was this was this always a thing? They can't do normal silica pearls, right? They can, it's just in this map. Let me guys, let me know if this is a new thing for Genesis. 
that's out of the loop I am about about silly anglers because usually in modded they've got you know a, a modded creature that eats pearls but this is absolutely amazing this is gonna make my life a lot easier for pearl gathering oh my goodness and I would assume we'd get even more pearls the higher our melee that is so cool because you know these are much bigger and meatier than normal pearls so yeah it makes sense. Can I harvest other stuff too? Nope. But I can break it. That's pretty neat. Dude, I can't believe it. This is so good. I'm so, so very pleased. Oh my goodness. What a great, great addition to the team. Alright, I am happy. I don't know why I ever doubted you guys. I don't know why I ever doubted you. Alright, is that all the pearls? I noticed the pearls. They spawn back really quickly. Am I actually getting XP for eating the pearls, too? That might be. Let me just see. They don't have a damage indicator, right? No, no damage indicator. I guess it would be like when you harvest uh, metal nodes or rocks with an anklo, you can still get metal. Or you can still get get levels. So, yeah, it makes sense. Makes a sense to me. All right. Well, this is pretty successful, guys. I'm pretty pleased. And just look in that short time, we already got 9,000 pearls. That is what's up. Definitely what's up. It'll be great for a new water base that we're working on. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm exhausted. This thing took forever. I tried taming it quite a few other times with other scenarios that I ended up just cutting out for time purposes and went straight to the harpoon. But yeah, I'm pleased. I think we did good. So let me go through those comments. All right, guys, what a super epic, awesome, an amazing day, I do have to say. But yes, it is now that time. That's right, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and you got to comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have our Thylas to name and we will name them Wolverine and banana fingers oh i love it i might see if i can try and repaint it so that the fingers are actually yellow that would be pretty funny but yes wolverine and banana fingers um next episode we have mr angler to name oh my goodness guys thank you so much for letting me know that it that it's able to actually harvest the silica pearls it's <laughs> so good Anyway, on that note, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show your amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.